What's up guys, got another video review for you. This time we're going with Fall of Cybertron Optimus Prime. Now I just got this guy in the mail today. He's my second version of this figure because he's a freebie. Uh, I got him and um, Jazz for free from TF Source because they were running a promotion where if you pushed out uh, an in-stack order, if you, have, if you have stacking or if you bought anything over $200, you got hit both of them for free. Uh, if you did 100 bucks, you just got him. If you did 300 bucks, you got both of them and prayed prime. But I wasn't going to go about spending another 50 bucks on top of the order I already had to uh, get him. Because I already have him, too. But whatever. Freebie! Cool. Wasn't going to open him yet, but since I got a freebie, why the hell not? So we're, here we have him in his vehicle mode. Now, the idea behind him is that he's supposed to be a rolling fist. Don't really see it, but whatever. Uh, it doesn't really make a hell of a lot of sense in the continuity of the games, because if you played Fall of Cybertron, or War for Cybertron, Fall of Cybertron picks up literally seconds after the end of Fall of Cybertron. Uh, War for Cybertron. So him having a different body makes zero sense. Because, spoiler, at the end of War for Cybertron, they're getting ready to board the Ark. And at the beginning of Fall of Cybertron, they're trying to board the Ark. And you see him at the end of Fall, uh, War for Cybertron, the beginning of Fall of Cybertron. They're different, and it makes no sense, but whatever. Here's the figure. What are you going to do? Um, let's take the stupid gun off. The gun sucks, first of all. It's kind of G1-y in a way, because we hold it like this, and he's got the, the hump on the back, and uh, eh, whatever. It's a crappy gun. I don't remember using this gun in the game either, but whatever. Um, you can actually peg it on either one of these. But in his, when he holds it in his fist, he holds it that way, and then when he holds it on here, he holds it that way. So it can actually go over his head and shoot. Ugh, take that out. So he's got smokestacks. He's got the classic Optimus Prime paint job, red and blue. Um color scheme is nice and then everything else about it is nice just it's very small and everyone else has said it it's kind of cheap too but yeah whatever so to transform this guy what you're gonna do well he I didn't mention what he is he's just a cyber cybertronian car don't know they don't say exactly what he is but whatever so to transform him split the legs out and when you transform him back there's a peg two pegs here and two holes there I gotta cut my nails there's two holes here one here and one there and then the pegs peg into there and you just kind of squeeze everything together you kind of separate that in half and you extend the legs out and then you can push the feet back and they're gonna you kind of want to get them loose like that and then just make sure they're all the, there we go make sure they're all the way back and when they're forward, just make sure you push them all the way forward when you transform it back. Split the legs. There's a couple of notches and a couple of pegs. Just push them together. I was going to say something funny, but I didn't. <laughs> um, just pull the whole waist forward. And he's almost done. So what you want to do now is to do the arms. You separate the arms. And when you put it back in vehicle mode, there's a tab in the inside of the arm right there and a hole yeah that one right there so that plugs into there and then these sections the grill there's a slot and a peg and those go together and then when you put it in here it just kind of like frictions in there but not you know not strongly it just kind of like rests in there what you want to do is come around here oh, I forget which way these go right now I just leave that for now uh, extend the fist out. Goes that way. I've only transformed this guy a couple times. That way. Cool. Then you want to rotate it at the bicep. And then rotate it at the fist. So again, disconnect it from the side. Rotate this out of the way. Pull the forearm and then twist at the bicep and this kind of just kind of rests up in there. Yeah, that's right. It just kind of rests 
there. It doesn't click. It doesn't lock into place. It doesn't do anything. It just sits there. Can okay, rotate the fist. Then you have a choice of either leaving the smokestacks as like missile launchers and leaving them up or pushing them back. In package, they're up, but the instructions tell you to push them back, so we'll push them back. And then, last but not least, to reveal the head, just fold this panel back and lift his head up. And you push the panel back flush against his back. And there we have, sorry, focus in a second. Fall of Cybertron, Generations, Optimus Prime. Yeah, come on, stand for me, stand properly for me. So, my War for Cybertron is in box still, so I can't show you that to compare with, but I mean, there's plenty of other videos to show you what he looks like comparatively. So like I said with the gun, like that's the way it goes in vehicle mode, so you want to flip it around this way and then hold he holds it this way for robot mode. Eh. The gun's okay, I mean I like that it's G1-ish, but it's really not. Let's take a look at his face. So he does have a G1 g one -y head, but it is very, very small. Yeah, I really need to cut my nails. Sorry. Um, he's got horns for some reason. Eh. What are you going to do? It's not perfect, but... Stay. Do I like him? He's actually not that bad. It's just that he's really scrawny, which everyone's complaining about. Uh, I'm in the camp of raise the prices if you need to, but keep the figures, you know, worth the money. Keep them in scale. Keep them, well, not in scale, but, you know, the same size as the previous deluxes. Don't make them smaller and more expensive. Make them the same size and more expensive. That's fine. But, I mean, if you're a fan of the video games, I would say go ahead and pick them up. Uh, him and Jazz are on sale basically everywhere online for dirt cheap. I'm uh, pretty sure you can get him for less than 10 bucks. Eh, I paid full price at the store for one for one of them, and I got this guy for free. For free, he's awesome. I'll take anything for free, but I wouldn't mind paying 10 bucks for him. Stay. So there we have. Fall of Cybertron, Generations, Optimus Prime.